this is it? After Rome and Moscow, I was expecting something a little more... upscale. Stop being a smartass and go use the shower. That might be more tempting if you were here. In your dreams, Mike. Are you sure about this? Positive. Trust me. Okay. See? What did I tell you? I stand corrected. This is a hell of an operation center. I'll be able to do some real good here. I'm glad you like it. Now that you've made it to Taipei, what are your plans? Priority one is to find out more about this assassination attempt. Agreed. How are you going to go about it? I've got three leads to start with. This Stephen Heck guy seems like he knows what's going on in Taipei. He might be able to answer some questions. Be careful, Mike. I've checked my databanks, and I can't find any evidence that Stephen Heck has ever worked for the CIA. I'll be on my guard. There's also that anomalous data trail from Shahid's system. Any luck tracing it down? I managed to follow it back to a place in the warehouse district. I'm forwarding the address to you now. What's the final lead? Simple. Follow the money. Shahid was funneling large amounts of money to a front corporation for the White Oak Mountain Triad. I think I can persuade them to tell me why. Sounds like you've got everything figured out. That's just the kind of guy I am. Just be careful. Always. Roman police raided a warehouse in the Apria district earlier today on reports that it was being used as the hub of an international arms smuggling.
I'm here to see the Red Lion. I'm a friend of the Sheik. Hongshur, I presume? Nice place you got here. You know, I always wanted to retire someday and open my own restaurant. Maybe a little sandwich shop. Who are you? And why are you wasting my time? Oh, sorry. The name's Mike Thornton. What is it you want from me, Mr. Thornton? I have no interest in bantering with an American cowboy. It upsets my digestion. Please, get to the point. A friend told me you might know what's going on in Taipei. Something about the assassination of a certain political figure. Hmm, I see. And this friend, he shared this with you out of the goodness of his heart? I convinced him it was in his best interest to provide me with information. He didn't agree. Ah, hmm. pity. Friendship is too valuable to be thrown away lightly. Mr. Thornton, a man in my position does not get to be a man in my position without knowing the value of a good trade. I can understand that. I suppose the question is what you need. Some of my lieutenants seem to think they would do better without my loving guidance and gentle hand. They have set up shop in a disreputable part of town. Now, if you were to discourage them, I will tell you what I know. I just walked in off the street. You think I'm the sort of guy to handle a gang of bloodthirsty triad killers because... Oh, I don't. But on the off chance you do succeed, you would have saved me a large amount of money, which I consider a good trade. Well, when you put it that way, it's hard to argue. All right, Mr. Hong. <laughs> I knew you would see the wisdom of this deal, Mr. Thornton. Uh, contact me again when my wayward children have been dealt with, huh? Oh, and Mr. Thornton. Yeah? Don't call me Mr. Hong.